And our team coverage now turns back to South Florida where pro-Israel demonstrators were lined up near Qatar Airways at Miami International Airport. And that's where we find Local 10's Samir Nepsi. He joins us live outside the terminal there with the reasoning behind this protest held today. Samir. All right, Laren, so that demonstration took place here at Miami International Airport across from where you would enter for Qatar Airways. So this demonstration held by pro-Israeli members arguing that the Middle East airline carrier no longer conducts business here in the United States, arguing the Qatari government, which owns Qatar Airways, has supported and funded Hamas. Stop flying your airplanes into this country or any other country. As conflict resumes in the Middle East, a passionate display at Miami International Airport. This is the first protest against Qatar in any airport in the world. And we're trying to negotiate where Qatar flies all over the world. The group focusing in on both Qatar Airways, arguing the Qatari government has been complicit as the Israel-Hamas war ramps up once again, arguing government officials have funded Hamas leadership while bolstering Hamas propaganda. And Qatar is taking the big shots from Hamas. So we're trying to get this administration and the airport officials not to allow Qatar to fly here until we get the hostages back. Following the temporary ceasefire between Hamas and Israel, bombs are booming once again. During the pause, Hamas freed over 100 hostages, with Israel exchanging more than 200 prisoned Palestinians. The Palestinian Health Ministry says more than 15,000 have been killed, with the IDF estimating at least 1,200 Israelis dead. As the conflict continues, here in South Florida, the focus now shifting to corporations. We're dealing with a very serious crisis, and we're only seeing the beginning of it. And back out here live, we have reached out to Qatar Airways for a comment we have not heard back. We're live tonight from Miami International Airport. I'm Samir Nafsi, Local 10 News.